So how do we identify a pneumothorax? The first step is to make sure that the patient is properly centered and is not rotated. Next, we need to understand what kind of examination was performed. In this case, we have markers telling us that this was an expiration film. Next, we look for asymmetry in the apical regions, knowing that the pneumothorax or the air within the pleural space will rise to the highest point. In this case, we can identify that the right apical region is blacker than on the left. The next step is to look for the edge of the lung. And here we can clearly identify a thin line which represents the visceral pleura. On this side of this line, there is increased blackness from the pneumothorax confirming that this is a pneumothorax. If you're still having difficulties identifying the pneumothorax, then outline each of the ribs on the suspected side. This is the first rib, the second rib, the third rib, superior cortical outline, inferior cortical outline. Here's the superior cortical outline of the fourth rib and the inferior cortical outline of the fourth rib. And between the third and fourth rib, there is an additional line, and this is the edge of the pneumothorax.